Yes? A couple of gentlemen out there want to see you. Gentlemen to see me? Come on in, boys. What? Why, Frank! Where... Where'd you come from? We just got off the train. Madge. Madge, I had to talk to you, to try and persuade you to forgive me. You never gave me a chance to explain anything. I don't want any more of your explanations. I found out where you lost that overcoat. In a woman's apartment. But, darling, that simply isn't true. I told you what I did with my overcoat. I... You gave it to a beggar. Well, I did. And I can prove it. How? Here's the beggar. I searched New York high and low until I found him again and, and brought him out here to confirm my story. Lady, it's the truth your husband's telling you. He did give me his overcoat. And it was a turning point in my life. I sold the overcoat and got enough money to buy some oysters. I opened up an oyster bar and started a nice little business. Your husband pulled me up from the gutter and made me a decent, self-respecting citizen. Him giving me the overcoat done it. Now, now do you believe me? No. Oh, honey, I wouldn't go to all that trouble to... to make you believe it if you didn't mean everything to me, would I? I still think you're lying, but... Well, you wouldn't come way out here if, if you didn't care some. Some? And you won't divorce me? No. That reminds me. Hal, I told you my story would fix it. I almost believed it myself. Main 600? Mr. DeWent? Oh, this is Mrs. Hammond. I've changed my mind. Don't file my divorce petition. But listen, Mrs. Hammond. I appreciate that, but... Your husband just arrived. Oh, very well. Women, women, women. You. Well, now that everything's worked out so nicely, I think we ought to celebrate. Why don't you and I go out to dinner? Yes, let's. Can't we take this poor man with us? He may be hungry. It's the first time you've kissed me in 19 years. <laughs> Close, do you know this gentleman? Gentleman, your Aunt Fanny. He's my little putchy witchy. Aren't you, darling? Then he isn't a beggar? I should say not. He's my great big darling ever-loving husband. Frank Hammond, I hate you. Uh, no, no, just a minute. I can explain anything. Uh, I, I mean everything. You've done nothing but tell me one ridiculous lie after another. So he's a beggar, eh? Oh, I could... Main 600, quick. Hello, hello, Mr. DeWin? Mrs. Hammond. I, I've changed my mind. Go ahead and file those divorce papers. Well, that's fine. I'll file your petition immediately. Good day. Well. So you fixed it. Don't give up. I've been in tougher spots than this. I've just begun to lie. Well, if you hadn't... Uh, I'll admit that Frank and I told you a little fib, but, but this is the truth. What really happened? This ought to be good. Uh, you see, uh, we met in a speakeasy, and, well, we got a little that way, you know. I believe that much, at least. Well, one thing leads to another, and we get into a fight. What were you fighting about? Well, uh, honestly, I... I, I don't just remember. Do you, Frank? Uh, no. Oh, but it was a terrific battle. A rigor knock them down and drag them out of there. Why, we tore each other's overcoats to shreds. There wasn't a scrap left of those two coats. Well, well, when we finally sobered up, why, we got ashamed of ourselves. We didn't want you girls to know that we'd been mixed up in a speakeasy brawl. So we lied to you just a little about those coats. Isn't that right, Frank? Right, Tom. Mm -hmm. That's how it all happened, and that's the truth. Oh. Oh, Madge. Well, I'm still going to divorce you. What do you think of that? I think it's wonderful. Oh. 